Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about how to compare schema between multiple data frames. This is one of the common requirement in most of the Databricks project. Along with schema comparison, I am also going to explain few other commonly used operations related to schema. In my previous videos, I have explained how to define a schema using different methods and also what are the different uh, schema related uh, methods used. What is the difference between different methods? Now, these concepts I have explained in my previous videos. In case you haven't watched, I highly recommend to watch those videos. In this video, let us see how to compare schemas and uh, perform some other operations related to schema comparison. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is also up and running. So for this particular demo, I'm going to create three sample data frames. So the first data frame, it's having four columns, ID, first name, last name, and salary. Let me create the data frame. The execution has started. Here we can see the output. And I'm also creating the second data frame with the same structure, ID, first name, last name, and salary. Let me execute this step. Second data frame is also created and this also having same structure. This also having same structure as the first data frame. Right. Let me create the third data frame. For the third data frame, I'm going to give different schema. It is going to have only three columns, ID, name and salary. So there is a schema difference compared to data frame one and data frame two. In uh, data frame one, we are having four columns and the first name and last name these are missing in the third frame, third data frame. Instead of that, we are having one extra column in the third data frame that is name. So this particular column that is missing with previous data frames, name is missing. At the same time, first name and last name, these columns are missing in the third, third data frame. So let me execute and create the third data frame. Right. Now uh, we understood we are having three data frames and uh, the schema is different for the third data frame and it's the same for first and second data frame right now with this uh, setup with this background let us assume in our project we are having some requirement like we need to compare the data frame between first and uh, second in case the schema is matching we will do certain operation in case the schema is not matching then we will perform certain other operation so that is uh, the logic. Now, in order to uh, perform the comparison, the logic is very simple. The PySpark coding is very simple. We can use data frame dot schema. So in this first example, I'm going to compare the schema of first and second data frame. Both are exactly same. It's having four columns, ID, first name, last name, salary. So ideally it will go to if part and it will display schema matches. In case the schema is not matching, then it will go to the else part, it will display schema does not match. But in this exercise, I am comparing data frame 1 and data frame 2. So we are expecting it will go to this particular if part and it will uh, print schema matches. Right. It's very simple operation. Let me execute and we can see the output. Yes, as expected, it is giving schema matches. And let me perform the same with data frame 1 and data frame 3. We know that the data, the schema is not same for data frame 1 and data frame 3. We have data frame 1 that is having extra columns of first name and last name and data frame 3 that is missing with first name and last name but it is having additional column that is name. So the schema is not same. It will go to else part and it will print schema does not match. Right. Let me execute this step. As expected, it went to else part because scheme, schema is not same for data frame 1 and data frame 3. So it um, returned schema does not match. For this simple exercise, now I have given just a print statement. But in your real-time uh, project or real-time scenario, you have to execute certain logic. That logic we can place in the place of print statement. I hope you understood. Right. This is one of the basic operation and uh, it's very simple. Now let me extend the functionality of this. In certain projects, we need to compare two data frames and we have to get the list of additional columns which is available in one data frame compared to another one. Or the list of missing columns from one data frame compared to another data frame. These are very common requirements. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare my second data frame and data, third data frame and I'm going to take only the list of extra columns that are available in data frame 2 which are missing in data frame 3. That is my requirement. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 
dot columns function. So data frame dot columns. So this is my second data frame. I'm taking all the list of columns and I'm getting a third data frame list of columns. This is basically it will return list. I'm converting that list to set Y because we can perform minus operator in the set only not in the list. So that's the reason I'm just converting that list to set. Then I'm performing the minus operation. Then based uh, the output again it is um, uh, converted to list for our printing purpose. So here in this particular uh, cell I'm giving you the logic what are the extra columns which are available in data frame 2 or what are the columns which are missing in data frame 3. This is the logic for that. Let me execute this step but uh, we know the output for this. So we need the extra columns that are available in data frame 2 that is first name and last name. Those are the two columns available in data frame 2 missing in data frame 3. Right, let me execute and we can see the output. The execution is done as expected. It is returning last name and first name. And sometime we have to, uh, we, the requirement might be different. You know, we have to get um, the list of extra columns available in data frame 3 and missing in data frame 2, the other way around. So for that, just I changed, um, uh, changed uh, DF3 and DF2 in their place. Then we can see the output here. First, I'm putting df3 minus df2. Let me execute this step. So here we know the name column, that is the extra column, extra column available with df3 and missing with df2. Right. So this is also another requirement related to schema comparison. Now, just to extend this uh, functionality, in some projects, you know, there are situations where we have to compare two data frame and we have to make the schema same. One of the real-time uh, requirement would be let us assume we have to uh, read a certain big data file dynamically. We have to create two different data frames and we have to perform union operation. In order to perform union operation, one of the prerequisites is number of columns should match. So in case there is a mismatch in the column, in case there is a mismatch in the incoming data file, as a result, the data frame is having different number of columns. As a result, the entire pipeline will get failed. In order to avoid that, Dynamically, we can compare the schema between two data frames. In case there is a mismatch, we have to add those missing columns with null value so that the union will uh, uh, will succeed. So this is one of the um, uh, real-time uh, requirement. Similar to this, there could be different scenarios as well where we have to compare two different data frames and we have to make the schema same. I hope you understood the requirement. Now. In this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take data frame one and data frame three. I'm, I want to make the schema same for both of them. So in the data frame one, we are missing with column name. So that we have to add with null values. Coming to data frame three, that is missing with last name and first name. That we have to add to the data frame three. So that is the requirement. I hope you understood the requirement. So for that, what I'm doing is, first of all, I'm getting all the list of columns from both the data frame into one of the list that is all columns. So just I'm performing Python plus operator df1 columns plus df3 columns. It might contain duplicate because in this example, you know, both the data frame df1 and df3 both are having id and salary. These are common. So it will be present two times in the list because list can accept duplicate values. So I have to get rid of duplicate values for that. I'm just converting this um, list into set because set cannot accept duplicate value. It will eliminate. Again, I am converting that uh, set to list. Now, in this output, unique columns, we are going to have only unique uh, list of columns that is uh, available across different data frames. Right. Then finally, I am printing. Let me execute. So we can see the output. So com uh, combining two data frames, you know, these are the unique columns we are having. ID, salary, this is common between two data frames. Name, this is specific to third data frame. This last name and first name, these are specific to first data frame, right? Now, based on this unique data frame, I'm going to uh, use for loop. I'm going to iterate one by one. For example, I'm going to compare this first element ID that is present in first data frame or not. In case it is present, it won't do anything. In case it is missing, then that value will be added to the first data frame. Same I'm doing for third data frame as well. So I'm iterating for all the elements. Let's say when the control goes to the second element name, that is not present in the first data frame. So the if condition will be matched. Then it will add the new column, that name column dynamically using with column functionality and it will populate the value of null. 
So coming to last name and first name, same, it will be added to data frame 3. At the end of the execution, both data frame will have equal number of columns. I hope you understood the logic that uh, I have developed here. So let me execute and we can see the output. Right, execution is completed. We can see the output. This is the output of first data frame and this is the output of uh, third data frame. So first data frame, it was missing with the name column. Now it is added with all null values. Same, coming to third data frame, it was missing with first name and last name. Now it is added with null value. Hope you understood. Now we can perform a uh, union very easily. Again, the order of the column is not same because the second column in this first data frame, it's a first name. But the first name is present as a last column in the data frame three. So uh, here we can go with union by name. Uh, union, direct union might not work, but we can go with union by name function. Then we can combine these two different data sets. I hope you understood the requirement, right? This is one of the real time and also most commonly required uh, functionality. So now here I have created um, a separate uh, logic in order to achieve this out output. But in this step, I have automated this uh, step using one of the user defined function. I have created one UDF add missing columns. This is accepting two, def two different data frames. So let's say data frame two and data frame three or data frame one and data frame three. So inside whatever I have explained above, the same concept I have given. You now first we are uh, getting all the list of columns, then we are removing the duplicate, then we are getting the unique columns, then using for loop I am iterating. So the missing columns are getting added to first data frame and the third data frame. I hope you understood. Finally, I am calling that and I am uh, executing. So let me execute this step. And we can see the output here, right. Now, while passing the data frame, the schema was different. Now the outcome is uh, same for both. I hope you understood how to compare two different schemas and what are the commonly used operations related to schema comparison. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please like and comment in the channel. Also, please subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.